Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in and checking out my latest video. So today's video is going to be talking about Jose Venezuela, aka El Rayo. So this is a fighter I really wanted to highlight for a long time. Huge fan of this guy's potential. He's only 22 years old. Southpaw. He's a fighter who's 5'11", fighting at 135 pounds. So that is unbelievable. He's 11-0 with 7 KOs. So when I look at Jose, the reason why I wanted to profile him, one of my favorites to watch, and ultimately I believe this guy is going to be a world champion. And let's get right into the start of his career, how he's going to progress, and why I think it's so important the team he is with. So Jose Venezuela, guys, he's originally born in Sinaloa, Mexico. And when you look at him fight, he's got that classic Mexican style where he loves to fight aggressive, walks forward, He's got excellent endurance so far I've seen in his professional fights. He's a fighter who has power in both hands. And ultimately, guys, when I talk about his coaching team right now, you have Jose Benavidez Sr., who is an outstanding coach in my opinion. He doesn't get enough credit from the boxing media and writers. This is a guy who's built David Benavidez, world champion David Benavidez, who potentially down the road will fight Canelo Alvarez, who has an elite style. He's going to be fighting David Lemieux in his next fight, David Benavidez. Going to be an absolute war. I cannot wait for that fight. But this is a world-class fighter, and he's built him from the ground up. And then you look at his other son, Jose Benavidez Jr. This guy was sparring Manny Pacquiao at 16 years old. So, I mean, an elite talent. He's a guy that people were talking about when he was a teenager, uh, about the skills he possessed. They couldn't believe it. And Jose Benavidez Sr., has trained both of these guys since their kid. He raised them to the fighters that they are now today. Um, extremely impressive, and I just got to give him a big shout out because I don't think he gets enough credit. It's so hard to build a fighter from that early point to where they are right now, and he's been the only coaches for both of them. So unbelievable. He does a great job getting them good sparring too with all world class gyms. So yeah, I think this is huge in the development of El Rayo to have somebody guiding him like that. And I think they're moving him the right way because when you look at Jose Venezuela, he's been fighting some fighters with good records. Um, like Austin DeLay, he's a good fighter. He's got some skills. And Jose Venezuela absolutely destroyed him in four rounds. He must have hurt the guy ten times in the fight. It was unbelievable. Um, against a fighter of Austin DeLay's caliber, this guy's no pushover. And then he had Barrio, also another inexperienced fighter who Al Rayo fought as well. And these are early on in his career. I mean, the guy's only 11-0 so far, and he's fighting these type of caliber fighters with good records. And ultimately, that's what he needs to progress himself. So I think that's awesome awesome on the Benavidez team that they're moving him around appropriately so that ultimately when he steps up, um, we've seen some question marks already checked off. Like, for example, I've seen him take some huge shots already. I've seen his power... In the late rounds is still prevalent he has good cardio i've seen his you know what i'm saying like a lot of these things are already checked off his list where some prospects when they get to a stage where they got 20 fights 25 fights where they fought absolutely no one leading up to that point when they get on one test where they get hit hard two or three times they fold jose venezuela we've already seen he's a goods in that department so far in his career and i like that because we've already seen some experience in him that he's had to overcome some things. Now, when I look at El Rayo as a fighter, this is a guy who vicious power in both hands, love his jab to the body. I also love his straight left hand down the pipe, a beautiful punch from him, vicious body puncher. This guy's already one of the best body punchers in the sport of boxing at already 22 years old. Unbelievable. So when you look at him in the body shots as well, he mixes up his left hook and right hook to the body. He'll double up with them at some points. His jab to the body is a beautiful shot because it just takes the wind out of his opponent's sails. And then he also can use that to land some combinations upstairs as well, open things up, uh, get his opponent to drop his guard. And he also has vicious uppercuts as well. So these are all extremely important tools that Jose Venezuela has. And that's the biggest thing that I see in him as a fighter. What separates him from a lot of guys is his consistent body work, his level changing, his ability to throw combinations, and his variety of punches is excellent. And that's a thing because you just can't defend against something like that when he is constantly throwing these shots that you're not expecting to come. And even, for example, he'll throw things straight down the pipe, and then you'll see him throw a looping overhand at some point. You know what I mean? And it just throws his opponent off loop, and it's such a good um, fight IQ when you look at Al Rayo. 
I also have seen him as well um, in his sparring session, actually, on Fight Hype. He was sparring three different guys, and I was kind of interested because most of his fights, if you watch him, he's always backing his opponent down. Rarely is he ever backed up, and I said to myself, I wonder, can this guy fight off the ropes or anything You like that? Because I've never seen it really in a fight. And I looked at that sparring session, and at one point, he's in the corner. He's using a double jab. He's also using his lead hand. Um is a range finder and he's pull, pushing his opponents out of the way. He's he's circling and he's gotten, you know, with different movement. And I just thought defensively, I was really impressed by some of the maneuvers he was showing and sparring. And that was something I hadn't seen him do in fights. And that was very impressive to me, um, using his lead hand defensively and his double jab and getting out. Um, some very good techniques that he was using when I looked at El Rayo. And also, I like the way that he was able to spin out and then immediately dominate position and then back his opponent up, right? Controlling the distance and the range that he wants. And that's another thing that Al Rayo does really well is he doesn't waste punches. His accuracy is excellent. He's very good at judging uh, distance. And you'll always see him. He's always in range. It's very rare do you see him miss a shot. And that's really impressive. High work rate. And ultimately, I've even seen a counter punch as well. So this guy, he does it all. And that's why I think that everybody will like this kind of style. Now, the one thing, obviously, I think he can improve on a little bit, and that's going to come with time, is you'll see him sometimes when he leaves um, an exchange, he'll leave his head up in the air, and he'll get hit with a couple of shots leaving. Um, that's something that ultimately you can correct, though. And the thing that I also like about that is I, I also know that he can take a punch because he's been hit pretty good, and he's showing that chin. So that's definitely something good that we can say, okay, well, he's been through some adversity, he's taken some shots, and not only does he take these shots, he comes back and he's going to hit you with about eight uh, punches later. So when I look at El Rayo, just an extremely skilled fighter, you're going to see him on the Earl Spence versus Ugas card. I definitely would think you guys should check this out. He's fighting Francisco Vargas, of course, the famed Mexican warrior. He's only ever been stopped twice in his career, right? So in my opinion... This would be a huge statement if Jose can stop him because of how tough he is, how durable he is. He's a legend in the sport. He's put on some amazing fight for us as fans. And if Jose can go out there and take him out, that's going to be a huge statement. Ultimately, guys, I see him actually getting the stoppage over Francisco Vargas, which is impressive. And I can't wait to see what's going to be next for the future of El Rayo. Definitely check him out. Future champion at 135. Diverse set of skills, guys. This guy does it all. Great team behind him. And his team, the thing I like about them, they're old school. They want challenges. These guys aren't going to throw you in there just to pad your record. They want challenges for him, and they want for all their fighters. So I really appreciate that as a boxing fan. And like I said, guys, El Rayo, check him out. 22 years old, guys. Unbelievable talent. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Last fight, like I mentioned, June. Three plans a good series of punches there with 2019 getting the Oh, oh down goes Clark, he's out! Oh wow, what a left here by Don Swell. Oh, he's not getting up, it's over. It's all over, didn't need those extra two rounds. Jose Rayo Venezuela striking like lightning here tonight at the Staples Center. Getting his second knockout of his career.